Trump committed fraud, according to a ruling by a New York judge. The judge ruled Tuesday that Trump and his company sought lower taxes and better insurance coverage by reporting false values of their assets. New York Attorney General Letitia James filed the civil lawsuit against Mr. Trump and his company, accusing his company of deceiving banks and insurers and inflating his net worth by as much as $2 billion. In addition to Trump, co-defendants include his sons, Eric and Donald Jr., as well as the Trump Organization, two of its former executives, and other businesses. The ruling strips some of Trump's business licenses, making it difficult for him to do business in New York State. An independent monitor will continue to oversee the Trump Organization. And the answer is no, because what ultimately happens is the Attorney General will cease um, to allow those um, companies to exist by pulling the licenses, by pulling uh, its license to be active in the state of New York. So all of those assets will end up going into some form of a receivership. And as a result of the receivership, uh, the companies will end up getting liquidated. Trump 